Welcome back, everybody. We are featuring reps with Ryan. Of course, it's a workout segment, but Ryan, it's not just about working out. That's right. You also have to be concerned about nutrition, specifically after the workout. And you and I were talking before we went on. This is typically all I do. I do the protein shake after. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that there's some certain things to look at with protein shake. Talk about that, and then we'll get into the rest of this. There are, as it relates to protein, there's my main thing that I look for is, is my rating scale on this. Mm -hmm. And they've got a, a protein digestible um, amino acid score on all of these. Mm -hmm. They typically range uh, in the 55 to 80 percent range okay. is what you'll find in most stores. That's the cheaper end. Mm -hmm. uh, the more expensive ones will go up to 99 percent and that's more of the pure form. So if you are going to use a supplement we try and phase more towards like this has about a 98 percent rating. Right. So I prefer this. It's also a little more vegan. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like the animal which is whey um, but in this case this has a better blend of carbs to protein than this particular because protein. I was thinking okay it's just protein that you got to wear protein is what refuels your muscles right. but I didn't even think about the carbs thing. Well, so let's talk about your carb stuff that you so have part of what we do is, is we call it the four R's of recovery nutrition okay. uh, rehydrate replenish repair and reinforce most people in gyms everywhere you go say I need to eat right after and get some protein in right. me. the problem is you've just depleted your carbs mm -hmm. and the only place to get that is through the glycogen levels within the muscle so we need to get a carb replacement the protein should be about a four or one to four ratio on the carbs. So okay. we need four carbs for every one gram of protein. Uh, what I look for in the best meal, and this is, this is an example of a perfect setup for a 110 pound uh, woman or male that has an intense workout, okay. chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. It's a perfect, hey. perfect blend of carbs. Who doesn't want to hear that protein. from a fitness trainer, right? <laughs> Go for all the chocolate milk you want. I'll take it. You know what? It's, it's a great deal. The stuff is, is it, these are in eight ounces. Now a typical lady would be sitting at about uh, 16 ounces okay. uh, in, in any given right after. It helps restore your insulin levels, keeps you uh, level. I do love, and I'm a big fan of the Greek yogurt. Right. This has a great blend of protein. It's obviously been a little bit more dehydrated, so there's less water in it. Uh, I love the, uh, the Greek yogurt. I go with a flavored kind, a strawberry banana. Um, it's not bad. And then depending on how intense the workout was, replace the, uh, the sweat loss you've right. Get those electrolytes, electrolytes right? back in. That's right. Okay, so electrolytes, protein, and all I've got out of that, all of it, was chocolate milk. Chocolate that, milk. That's the good stuff. That's right. All right. All right. Well, Ryan, stick around. We're going to talk Thank to you, you coming up again in the next hour. We'll have much more on our website about this as well. Plus, you can go to the website. Is it SaginawAthleticClub.com? Yep. And you can get some information there. Joel?